Mm, that's a good question. Let me savor it. Let me stew on it. Taste its succulent meat. What do you want? Mm. Well, let's see. The author uses syntax in many different ways. For example, when Yosarian's talking, he often uses words to say things that he wants to say. Words, eh? That's, that's unusual for an author. Yes. And the author also uses sarcasm and irony and paradox to show the craziness and lunatic lunatics lunatics craziness. I already said that. And rep repetitive dialogue to denote the craziness of war. I'm not sure uh, lunatic is a word. Did you go to college? Uh, did you go to college? Yeah. It's a yeah. simple question. <laughs> yes. yes or no? Yes. It's a yes or no yeah. question. Yes. So why don't you answer the question? I, I, I went to, to a form of college. A form of college? Yeah. Okay. Um, I'll believe you. Yeah. And, you know, other things like naked men in trees. What? Oh, right, from your book, Yosarian. Favorite part, actually. Oh, right, my book. Oh, that was in the book, right. <laughs> right, right. Many high schools today offer you know, collage-level classes. Wait, 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 wait. Collage? Yeah, collage, the thing that happens after high school, you know, you pay them money, they make you a liberal, you know, that type Universities? of Universities? No, this isn't, this isn't Europe, it's collage. The, you know, there's collage level sports and then they go. Oh, right. Okay, yeah. I get it. Yeah. Uh, they, they use your book um, as one of the things they analyze because it's considered an AP book. Um, what do you think of the qualities of your book that give it such a higher learning level? Well, I think a major point is the complexities of my writing. You can't get everything from my writing in one go. You have to read it two, three, four, five, six, eleven times to get like a tenth of the meaning from my book. And, you know, it's not like a kid's book, like, see spot run. It's like Yosarian says, explains the rules of Catch-22. You think a, an eighth grader's gonna get that? So, why can't you ground me? Because you have to be crazy for me to ground you. I am crazy. Ask anybody. Well, they're crazy too. Why don't you ground them? Because they have to ask me first. That's the catch. Catch? Yes, catch 22. Anybody who finds combat missions is by definition crazy. But if they ask me to ground them, then that proves that they know they're in danger, meaning that they're not crazy. That's some catch. Yeah, catch 22. The best catch there is. Oh yeah! No! They won't! They'll be confused and they'll ask their teacher. They'll go up to the teacher and be like, Hey teacher, I don't get catch 22! I don't understand it! I don't get it! And the teacher's like, that's because you're stupid and you're an 8th grader and you're not a college kid or an AP class. And that's the reason. It's the reason why it's an AP book. In your, uh, in the hit novel we've been talking about here, uh, Catch 22, there are, uh, there are, uh, you use an, an interesting form of syntax. I agree. Uh, do, care to describe that to us? I prefer to use shorter sentences without superfluous commas, periods, semicolons, regular colons, apostrophes. Understandably. And other things of that nature. I see everything twice! This soldier who saw everything twice started when they rolled Yasserian in. In addition to style, many authors real. Wait a minute. How'd this happen? How, how did you get my notebook? I stole it. In addition to style, many authors rely on symbolism to get their agenda across. What symbols did you use? 
Well, there's many symbols in the book. God, flying dogs are everywhere. There are many symbols in the book. For example, a good one would be chocolate-covered cotton. Now, many people think that it's just a throwaway gag, but if you look deeper, it symbolizes when things are enticing and appealing on the outside, but bad on the inside. Yo, Sarian, yo, Sarian. I got a new product you gotta try. It's for my uh, mess hall. <laughs> what is this? You try to poison me? Uh, it's chocolate covered cotton. Chocolate covered cotton? The men won't eat this. Well, they have to. It's for the sake of the syndicate. I got all this Egyptian cotton and I can't get rid of it. I've cornered the market, but I can't sell it. If it's for the good of the country, why don't you feed it to the government? You're right. Maybe the government will buy it because it's for the freedom of the country. And they won't have to buy it because I'll buy it back. Because it all goes to the syndicate and everybody has a share. Thanks, Yosarian. I needed that. And, you know, it's kind of like the soldier encased in white. He was basically dehumanized because he died, and then he was replaced immediately by another person who was encased in white, and everybody thought it was the same person. And yet another symbol in the book would be the bombing of the runway of the base by Milo and the Syndicate. That symbolizes man's greed and how that greed causes self-destruction and death in all places of the war and life. Take that toe? Sure. What's your favorite number? 99. Where were you born, specifically? Coney Island. When you go to Arby's, what do you order? I don't eat at Arby's. What's the opposite of your favorite color? I don't know. Orange? What year followed the year in which the War of 1812 took place? 1814. Do you find me attractive? Lose the glasses and we'll talk. If x equals 3 and 5 equals x, what does x equal? What? <laughs> what color red fire trucks? Blue. Person who's about to be teleported say what? Quoth the raven nevermore. What? Where am I? Oh, what is this? Like some sort of vortex or something. Why is my shirt brown? Oh, oh, oh my god, a penguin. I'm another penguin. Oh, it's Charlie Brown. Oh, oh. Son of a... Did you see that scene where he totally shot him in the back of the head? Yeah, I was watching it, Kyle. It was totally awesome! We should try that! Yeah, like totally right now! Uh, I don't know. Yeah! Yeah, let's do it! Yeah! Yeah! yeah. Hey kids, you know all that violence you just witnessed in that last video? Well, it's not how it works in real life. See, in our video, we used Nerf guns so nobody was really hurt. And so remember, fake killing is dope. Real killing is nope. And, and now, now we know! And knowing is half the battle. Go Joe!